Hi all, this is Gamal Eldas, representing Code Enters, a team of full stack developers and security analysts. Hope all of you are doing good. So, we are back to this video series which is on hackathons. Sorry for the long delay. So, I remember the last video which we had put regarding the hackathon on what actually a hackathon is and a detailed walkthrough on Smart India Hackathon was given and it was some um, 9 months ago. Now, we have planned to bring out the entire series in a span of uh, 30 days and uh, as of the timeline, we'll be uploading a video episode every Wednesday and Sunday until the entire series completes. It is going to definitely going to be interesting for you. It will cover all our experiences. Along with that, each and everything that are needed before the hackathon, during the hackathon and after the hackathon. So let's get into this uh, video. So today's topic is something which is very crucial for every hackathon. Let me just start it with an example. So we have seen there are uh, buildings which are 100 floors tall that stand strong. And there are buildings which can't even withstand two or three floors. Do you know what's the reason? That's the foundation of the building. The stronger the foundation is, the stronger the building will be. And let us consider the building to be the hackathon. And what should be the foundation? It is the team. That is how much crucial a team building is. So what are the things that should be considered before choosing a team? So consider you being a leader. So if you are a leader, what does it mean? You have all the responsibilities of selecting the team, selecting the problem statement, the plans, the strategies, everything. So a wise team leader is very crucial for every team. Just like that, the team is also crucial. So while selecting a team, what we actually did, let me just uh, go through with our Smart India Hackathon experience so that uh, it would be something which you could connect. So what we did is, uh, I was the team leader, so we chose a team uh, which was, to be honest, of my best friends. And uh, as per the Smart India Hackathon rule, we had to have at least one girl in the team. So we chose two of our classmates in the team. And we chose on a way with respect to their skill sets. So all have diverse skill sets. One is a UI UX designer, one is a developer, one is an uh, crypt analyst and uh, one is an app developer. That is how we selected the diverse of teams. Because when it comes to a product development, you need a diversity of team for strengthening up the functionality and everything that is going to come ahead. So you've selected the team. What's next? The coordination, the understanding between each one of you. That is going to be very crucial. Let me just say uh, why I am focusing so much on uh, team formation and the cruciality of team formation is I did a mistake. So uh, in Smart India Hackathon, when you uh, go for the final finals, when you get shortlisted for the finals, they will select any one random locations. It can happen in any part of India. So our finals were supposed to be held in uh, Bangalore. So we had initially selected a team that was good. And that's the reason we got selected for the finals. But due to some untoward reasons, three members from my team, they stepped out in the most crucial moment. It was in August 5th where we had to give a confirmation to the Smart India Hackathon panel, that is last year, that we are going to participate in the finals. It was just two days before that, three of my team members, they told that they won't be coming to the competition. And as for Smart India Hackathon rules, it is at least that five members should be in the team. Minimum five members, only then you will be eligible for participating in it. So by the meantime, you would have known as a team leader how much heartbreaking it would have been from getting selected from lakhs of participants to the finals. Somewhat by God's grace, we got an opportunity for replacing with three new members. So we received a mail from Smart India Hackathon to create, if you want, you can replace with three new members. And it was exactly what we needed. So we formed a new team and that is how we took it forward. And you know, that team was formed just 20 days before the finals. And... Uh, we are standing as the winners now. So team selection is very crucial. I did a mistake in the start, but I was able to recollect from it on the go. That is how it goes. So team formation is very crucial. Not only that uh, it is needed for the work, it is needed for the strength, it is needed for the motivation, it is needed for the persistence for going and winning the hackathon. So that's all about uh, team formation. Team ratio has to be good. The team leader has to be wise. He's the one who's going to decide everything. A proper... Uh, uh, team with the same vision towards the victory is what is needed.
so shall we go to the next uh, topic of this video that is problem statement selection so just as the team is crucial so the captain of the ship you need someone who is going to run the ship right that is the thing which is the problem statement so just as that uh, when it comes to smart india hackathon we have a portal where they list out all the problem statements from different parts of the world different organizations put different kinds of problem statements and you have to select any one problem statement from that so while choosing the problem statement what are all the things you should consider first thing we are already talk about the team so you as a leader should know the ability of your team in selecting a problem statement and implementing it not selecting a problem statement is not the only crucial thing because you are the one who is going to implement the problem statement right as a product so evaluate the problem statement based on the team's expertise you know the your team strength based on that select a problem statement second feasibility and potential impact what is this product that you are going to build what is the problem that you are solving how much impactful it is going to be because most of the ideas remain as ideas they use it for the hackathon it end up that way but there are people who use their ideas and revolutionize it to the next to next level so that's how you need to think when you approach a problem statement brainstorm each of your ideas together as a team let me just say how we selected our problem statement initially with my first team so what we did we had a team of six members so i just told each one of them to select three random problem statements from the list of problem statements that was given we had around 250 plus problem statements because individually going through each problem statement was not uh, uh, easy task so we had shortlisted uh, three problem statements from each that is 18 problem statements we have in our hand now then we suggested each to select one problem statement from the three that is the best of three so all six of us had one problem statement in our hand what we did is we sat a week together and analyze the feasibility of each and every problem statement and there we were able to select the problem statement which is nr1162 it's an otp alternative that was something which was unique we had to build a new technology it was actually the problem statement where we were asked for a new technology to replace otp because otp doesn't function in low network areas and uh, that problem statement is what has won us the smart india hackathon because uh, we had a detailed idea of what we are going to do we had a detailed strategy we had a detailed plan and uh, this is what team formation is crucial selecting the problem statement is crucial this is the starting step this is the first crucial step which you need to take so hope uh, this video was useful for you in the upcoming video we will be talking about the plans and strategies that are needed for implementing your product going into the hackathon and uh, cracking it to the next level because you will definitely need a winning pitch you need a winning presentation for getting the sh getting shortlisted to the finals right so we'll be talking all about it in the next video do subscribe code hunters keep awaiting and stay tuned thank you signing off